You are now listening to Oversaturated, the podcast hosted by Johnny and Ralph. Now let's get it. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Oversaturated, the podcast where we discuss music, movies, pop culture, and everything in between. I'm Johnny. And I'm Ralph. Welcome to episode number 173. 173, and I'm Ralph Rose this week. Hey, let's get it. Let's get it. Uh, new listeners, please follow us on all social media. Facebook, just search Oversaturated, the podcast. Twitter is Oversat Podcast. Instagram is Oversat The Podcast, and our email is oversatpodcast at gmail.com. And please be sure to check out our website, oversatthepod.com. Anything you need to know about OS is there. Yes, sir. And if you want to follow us individually, I'm the mind of Ralph on Instagram and Twitter. On Twitter, I'm J O N two underscores, the letter B. On Instagram, I'm J B S underscore E S L underscore A A M U. Holla at us, Ralph. My guy, as he sips his, his Celsius. Yeah, shout out to Flo Rida, man. <laughs> man, look. I'm adding, to the, I'm adding to the point six he got. You know what I'm saying? I, look, I don't know if I can do the 82, but look. the point six, I can help you out with that. <laughs> That's what's <laughs> up. How you feeling, bro? What's going on, man? Man, uh, good, man. Everything's good, man. Another good week, man. Like, a lot of uh, productivity we talked about. A lot oh, of listen. adult stuff that, that went on. and It's happening. I'm just happy, man. I'm for real. Like, everything good, man. What about you, bro? Same, man. Just... Being productive, uh, gearing up to get my tax return done, getting out, gathering all my tax documents and whatnot, business expenses and and the such. <laughs> but that's it, man. Other than that, I'm chilling. Like I you said, care just about none of that. <laughs> me, me either. But you got to do it. I know. He's like, you got to do, do it. Care about none of that. Like, I, I'm it. filing and get my little little money back. I know I'm about to pay somebody. <laughs> this is how the game works. Man. What's crazy is I saw I, I read a headline recently. I don't know if this is a rumor or what, but there there has been legislation introduced to get rid of the IRS. Now, again, I don't know how true that is. I don't even know how that will work, but getting rid of the IRS would essentially mean getting rid of having to do tax returns each year and possibly getting rid of getting rid of like the FICA and all the other taxes that come out of the check. So. Well, they've been trying to get rid of Social Security and everything for a while, so I can, I can, I mean, I can't see it. Yeah, but, you know, that's crazy. You know, it's just damn, that's a whole sector of the government. Like, oh, no, big, how, big facts, how big does that facts. Work? I, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. That's why. That's why I don't know if it's true or not because, like, it would take a lot of over, a lot of overhauling for a lot, a lot of people, a lot of jobs gone. If that were to happen, well, so those niggas don't pay taxes no way, bro. Yeah, that's also true. It affects us. That's also true. And and also, if they did get rid of the IRS, something like something else would get taxed more. Like stuff we buy at the grocery store or just anything would get taxed more. So I mean, well, they, see, they, they don't find a way to get. I that mean, money. you see, you see the game. You oh. see the game outside already. So yes. yes. What what does this extra that extra you know couple hundred dollars on your check go mean? <laughs> I mean. True. I mean, it sounds cool. It sounds cool until in theory, you got in, in cool, but until maybe you you go and purchase eggs, right? They they already was six 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 seven dollars. Now they about to be twelve. That, that's crazy because I bought uh, the brown joints already. So I mean, I was used to kind of paying those type of prices. Yeah, but yeah. like the regular white cage cage <laughs> eggs, the the steroid chicken eggs is that high? That's crazy. <laughs> that's insane. I was doing the brown joints, the cage cage free. Cage for, my, my so th- those was already expensive. Man, they was already about four dollars. Damn, damn. How much are they now? About the same. Man. About the same. Okay. I mean, you know, I shop at Aldi, man. I, don't, I, I ain't too proud to say that. I'm <laughs> not. That's... I mean, I'm very proud to say that. I love Aldi, man. Nah, I feel you. Aldi saved me a lot of money. Nah, I, I go to Schnucks. It's there. It's yeah. easy. I, I rack up points. They got they got a rewards point man, structure. I see. I don't mean shit. I think that they don't, you know the points don't equal up nothing. I ain't gonna lie. One night I got <laughs> I got high off of edible and I went and used all my rewards points at Snook. Oh no, that's crazy. I mean, it wasn't. I mean, like, well, I, okay, like how said, how much? Okay. It was only like twenty dollars. Okay, <laughs> it wasn't okay. a lot. Listen, it took but, a lot to get that twenty. I know, man. What? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Listen. I bought. I threw it all the way on snacks. Like that's crazy. Like, couple cookies, bag of chips, some that's, seven that's up. That's what the edible do for you. Right, seven up. Like I bought, I bought a whole bunch of shit. I was like, oh, that's cool. That's lit. Man, I've been ranking my shit up for years. I'm up to like seventy two dollars. And they ain't gonna get you nothing. It, they, not, they ain't gonna it, get you nothing. They'll probably not. get you. I probably get a bottle of wine, some salmon. <laughs> I was about to say, wait till <laughs> some Hawaiian wait, rolls. Wait till, wait till the summer, get some meat for the barbecue. Like you know what I'm saying? That's about. That's all, it's all gold. <laughs> the ribs and the chicken. That's, that, it. that's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> the price of ribs. And I'm it. talking about one one pack of chicken oh, too. On, I ain't on, one rib. Like <laughs> one a rack, just one. <laughs> one rib. Like, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a turkey rib too. It ain't gonna be a, it ain't gonna be pork rib. Nah, that's fucked up. <laughs> Beef ribs ain't got no meat on it. That's crazy. But hey, man, real quick, I know you asked me about this, but how? Uh, what did you uh, think about you people on Netflix? Um, actually, I enjoyed it. I I thought it was a really good mu- uh, music. I thought it was a really good movie. Um, definitely kept me laughing the whole time. I have one, well, like maybe two nitpicks. Mm-hmm. First nitpick. So Lauren London, right? Mm-hmm. I can't tell if. <laughs> she really did a good job acting, or if everybody around her was just that great that it made her seem better. Listen, Lauren London is not a good actress. So I I, I agree. That's what I, I'm saying. I I've don't been know. saying this since ATL. Niggas just give up uh, the pretty privilege oh, pass, which absolutely. is cool, which is great. But no, we talking about acting. No, that's that's what I'm saying. I don't she, know if she's she Lauren, did. She's Lauren London and everything she is. Everything she's done. She's had the same earrings and everything. Like, man, what? So, I, I saw I saw Lauren London. I didn't see a character. <laughs> so that that was my one thing. Okay. Other thing, Eddie Murphy's performance. Mm-hmm. Eddie Murphy was funny throughout the entire movie. Mm-hmm. But it did seem kind of weird to me on how monotone he was the entire movie. He never, like, inflected his voice. He never, like, I don't know. It's just, it, it seemed weird to me. That's you all. Think, you think maybe that was just part of his character? Quite, maybe, but I don't know. I didn't I didn't care for it too much. And I, mind you, he was funny in the movie. Don't get me wrong. But the entire movie, he literally talked the same. Nobody else talked the same throughout the whole movie. Even, um... Uh, uh, Nia Long, and she didn't have that many lines, but she, she, she wasn't even in the movie for real. For she real, didn't, she didn't even have to have this role, honestly. I mean, true, but yeah. you know, but even the few lines that she did have, she wasn't like because the movie sits around like his mom and her, her dad. dad, right? That's that's pretty much where it begins and ends. Now, the the slight MVP of the film is her daddy, like I mean, uh, his daddy, Jonah Hill's daddy, <laughs> <laughs> like Jonah Hill care, like like you see ordinary people, like. No, that shit was crazy. Like, what is his unhealthy obsession with with exhibit? Every time he mentioned exhibit, I die. Like that's so random. It's so random, but no, I mean the movie was funny. Like I mean, if I needed the cheap laughs, it kind of gave me the feel of the uh, early two thousands films that we know Jonah Hill to be in. Yeah, yeah. That brand of comedy coming into twenty twenty three. So that's what I really enjoyed about mm-hmm. the film. The movie itself was just I right. like I mean it's, it's nothing but a guess who's coming to dinner type of film. Absolutely. So Absolutely. I mean it's like I seen the plot point before, but it's very enjoyable. But if you're talking about like the laughs, yes. Plot, ah. But it's a Netflix movie. What else can you expect? But I will say this might be and I don't think I've seen that many Netflix movies, but this might be the best Netflix movie that I've seen. Oh, that's crazy. You ain't seen Dolomite? Did I watch Dolomite? Did we talk about Dolomite? In prison at the moment. I can't remember. I can't remember. This ain't better than Bullet Train. Bullet Train, I hate. It's not a Netflix movie, though. Oh, I mean, it's on Netflix, but it's not a Netflix movie. Oh, it feels like it. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that was in theaters. Oh. Yeah. But anyway, shout out to the cast of uh, You People. Dope movie. I actually like that's a movie I feel like I would watch again. I ain't going to watch it again today, but I'm saying at some point if I'm bored and can't find that to yeah. watch, I will turn it on again. Would you? Would you? Would you spend the money to watch that in the movie theater? Mm, probably not. Oh, that's a hard pass for me. Probably I would never, not. Never, never, never <laughs> probably <that>. not. <laughs> yeah, the, the the trailer the trailers didn't make it seem like it was it would be movie theater worthy. And that's that's a conversation we've been having off Mike the last Man, couple weeks real, too. So that's a real thing. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> not, not, I mean, you got the star power in it for sure, but still not enough. No, Lauren London's your 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 lead your lead actress. No, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> Fuck no. It's, it's true though. It's true though. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Say what you will. <laughs> yeah. What we do? Off the dome. Off the dome, man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go first because it kind of seems like. Um. All right. So for my off the dome in watching you people over the weekend, mm-hmm. I actually saw uh 
some commentary around romantic comedies in mm-hmm. the black community mm-hmm. um, and how whenever people mention romantic comedies, they, they never really talk about the ones that are uh, that star black cast. So I just want to ask you, like, what is your favorite romantic comedy that has a majority black cast? One that people don't talk about uh, to be enough, I really think is really good, is The Brothers, like Brothers or something like that. Okay. Morris Chestnut, D.L. Hughley, Shamar Moore, and Bill Bellamy. Okay. That's a rom- I, I that's, that's, that. that's a romantic comedy, that. yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. That's that's more it's more comedy in there than anything. But it's, it's romantic. It's romantic. It's a love so, story. Nah, yeah, I got you. I got you. Know, you. Cliff and Powell's the daddy, Jennifer Lewis, <laughs> and mom. Like, this <laughs> <laughs> he fell in love with Gabrielle Union. It was a good film. Like I really thought I, I enjoyed it every time I see it. So like I really love. Like that film, and then it's just a dope cast of brothers. Like, yeah, <laughs> like it's man. like I mean, this double entendre. Bl- like when I say this movie's black, like you got Tatiana Lee is the little sister. Like you got like it's it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of black people. Bl- in this film. Black, blackity black, blackity black. I, I like that. Yeah. I like that. Not as hard. Um, mine honestly is is Brown Sugar. Um, even though I thought Tay Diggs was a little what? Why you slap yourself? Man, you know t- Brown Sugar's trash. I'm sorry. I hate the film. Sorry, it, not, it, not to me. I, I love Brown Sugar. They don't do nothing but Dirty Mac the whole fucking film. That's why I was like, this movie's stupid. Not, How's it a love story when he's sitting there tired of back on his best friend the whole film? I got nothing for you. I, I know. I know. <laughs> I got I know. nothing for you. I I don't know. I like it. It's the, the whole hip-hop aspect and how him and his best friend never really got together but got together in the end. And, you know, I I, I liked it. I liked it. He dirty. The whole film. Hey, man. <laughs> how you spend your whole Sometime film? Sometimes it worked. How you spend the whole film? Hey, did it, work? <laughs> like, did, it work? did it work in the end? And then it's just, did nah, it work? The only reason it worked <laughs> is because like he called his wife cheating, which is even crazy. It's like oh, now I can dirty back even harder now. Stars align, baby. Yeah, fuck all Star, that. The <laughs> universe is in his favor. Like we we sit there cheering for this. This is crazy. <laughs> hey man, look. Sometimes dirty make work. It worked. <laughs> it worked. Shout out to Brown Sugar man. Say this, not lazy. Word up. That's my off the door. What you got? Man, I'm just I'm just pissed off at that whole <laughs> <don't you>? But <laughs> but <laughs> uh, the term industry friend is thrown around a lot in the music industry, but why don't you think it's like applicable to actors and actresses? Hmm. Damn. Like it's yeah. like when when somebody's a, <laughs> a industry crazy. plant in the mu- in the music industry, right? We we point to a, a you know a certain segment of artists like oh they probably wouldn't have popped on their own. Like, is that a wait? Do you think that's a such thing in the in the acting community? Yeah, because I yes and no because right the thing is with music industry at least in today's era of music mm-hmm. you can you can manufacture some shit. We talked about manufactured numbers. in the music. Oh, absolutely! And, but you can't manufacture <clears throat> niggas going to put they they butts in the seats to see this person. That's what I'm saying. So I, I guess I'm. But, co- but the thing is, how many times have you looked up and like, how does this person keep getting roles? How does this happen? Y'all gonna make us like this? Get, give me an example of a person you think is like that. That's an industry player. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like I think The Rock can't act, <laughs> but most action stars can't act. If I'm being fair, okay. Hmm. But like he, he's like, and then we talk it like we really want to spend the uh, the conversation with that whole DC stuff he was trying to pull. Yeah. Like that's nasty. Like it was nasty. So it's like it is like you was trying to like every time you look up the rock pays a lot of the same people and is he has the same stuff on in most films like I. That meme is that the meme you're talking about? Yeah, it was four four different shots of The Rock in four different films. But <laughs> That's, and he, he had the same shit on each 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 of those shots. But industry, I mean, hell, I just talked about Lauren London. Like she ain't got she, 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 she is fine. <laughs> <laughs> you think you think that's plant worthy though? The only the one person that comes to mind when I think of an acting industry plant mm. might be Tiffany Haddish. Because I feel like she she, well, at least to me, she came out of nowhere. Came out of nowhere. When she hit the scene, she literally just just burst. She was everywhere it's on TV shows, movies, all that. And then just just like that, they got rid of her. Well, I mean, well, I'll say this, right? I watched. Have you ever seen Janky Promoters? Uh, I th- Ice Cube. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. She was in there. And that was two thousand nine. So I feel like she paid her dues. I don't think that's like industry plant ish. So you, so you saying somebody that just like kind of just came out of nowhere, like. You're gonna get a big Hollywood push because of who you are. I mean, I guess how you look. Because mm-hmm. the thing about acting, like 
that I don't think music really has. Like, I think it's a visual element to it. Mm -hmm. Like, a real visual element. Like, people really got to look at you the whole time. True. That's true. Like, they got to sit here and say, I want to look at this person on the 80-inch screen. So, I I don't know. I'm not sure if... Or 80-foot screen. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I would... I, I don't know. I don't know if I could call any... Industry playing actors or yeah. actresses. I, I, don't I don't know. Because I feel like I feel like it would be too difficult for that because, yeah, you can thrust somebody out into into movies and stuff, but the recept if the reception of that person isn't good, why that, would you continue to that continue is true. to have them? That is very true. So I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Because it's like, I don't know. Like, people can get, like, have box office, like, uh, hmm, would you consider Ryan Reynolds a good actor? He's a good comedic actor, yes. Okay. Like, he do that Deadpool shit great. Um, okay, outside of Deadpool. <laughs> trying to think what else I've seen him in besides Green Lantern. I'm trying to skip over Green Lantern. <laughs> um, what else? Like he, he, what else have he, I seen? Like, the thing is, like, Ryan Reynolds is a very, you know, pause. Like, I, I see why the people would want to put him in films, right? You know, mm. handsome fella. Very witty. <laughs> like, fella. Fella, like, yeah. you know, pause applicable. You know, just. No, I got you. I got you. Hmm. Good point. I'm tr I'm literally trying to think what else I've seen him. I know he's been in other movies, clearly, but <clears throat> it's just like st like and then the movies people would name. Like he was in Free Guy. Like, have you seen that? No. Okay. It's actually it's like pretty good. But anyway, I don't know. Like, I mean, that's it's not a term that I think that can be applicable. I was just thinking like, yeah, like you know, if somebody laid out a case for somebody not being talented, a, a talented actor or actress, I would listen. What about Michael B. Jordan? Nah. Nah. Okay. Nah. I tried. I tried. No, nah, I see. I see what you're doing, but yeah. now nah, I want. I want to say he's an industry. Because, because, te because technically, just like you were saying about Tiffany Haddish, he it, paid his dues too. It, and that's the thing. Like, if he I was on you, Young and the Restless, uh, <laughs> and the thing is, if I seen you visually pay your dues, it's kind of hard for me to say that. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's hard for me to say that. Right. That's so. I I think I feel like I'm gonna be thinking about this this week because I I feel like there's a possibility that there could be actors or actresses industry plants right mm -hmm. but i would have to really sit and think about who that could be because you have to lay out an argument for yeah. that. yeah because box office success is one thing <laughs> like but that you can't say there's an industry plant because the movies always put out there that they lose money on these films yeah because it was crazy like with that zoe saldana right yeah. only person that's been in four movies that grossed over two billion dollars but i've also know. seen Colombiana. Like, I mean, she was in Drumline. We seen her pay them dudes, but I don't know. Big facts. <laughs> we we, we, <laughs> big we seen her pay them dudes. What you talking? That's what I'm saying. So it's like, I don't, I don't know. Damn, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Loaded question. Yeah, no, we I, might. No, we might spend the block on this one. This cool. might have to be a topic that's, at some point. That's cool. Because no, nah, that's, that's cool. crazy. But now nah, that was off the dome, people. Uh, could you consider an actor or actress an industry plant? And yeah, why? yeah, man. And let us know. Have you um, what what is your favorite? rom-com that stars a black cast let yeah. us know yes sir but johnny os news gang i mean i'll say that's okay that's all right <laughs> Bre rewind bring it back baby sorry os gang what's happening family and kin folk we got a few news topics on the os desk but unfortunately we got to start here uh we're starting off the new year with some bullshit. uh rest in peace to i want to say tyree nichols of I'm memphis tennessee yeah man uh, who was savagely beaten by beaten by five Memphis police officers that happened to be black, just like Tyree Nichols was. Uh, Johnny, what do you have for uh, this? So first of all, I want to say rest in peace to Tyree Nichols. Condolences to his family, friends, loved ones. Um, this, is, I, I literally, I literally have no words. I mean, we we. The last few years, we we've come on this platform and talk about police brutality. Yep. How it, you know, how bad it is. How we wish, how we wish it could stop. How the police officers that commit these crimes should be prosecuted, prosecuted, sent to jail. Is I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know where to start here. It's just it's just sad that it happened, and it's even more sad that it was black police officers that committed this crime this time. Like it's it's crazy. Yeah, that's why we often have a distrust of police officers, even if they look like us. Yeah, it's quite unfortunate um, that these five gentlemen, these five brothers, beat this man to death, and he died because of his injuries. Like he he died three days later. Um, a son, a father, 
uh, just a, a human being. You <coughs> right. know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, lost his life because of some senseless act of police brutality. And um, shout out to the, I, I'll say this. Shout out to the Memphis the Police Department for swift, swift action. Yeah. Um, they actually have a black police chief who's a woman. Yep, I saw. I like, I like that. I saw. Um, but oftentimes these are very political moves. Uh, not, I'm not saying her getting her position. I'm talking about the movement of firing the police officers. Got you. I'm happy that they had so swift, so, such swift action mm-hmm. in uh, reprimanding them, firing them, and possibly charging them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, you know, pending the investigation. I know that the Memphis PD put out the video. Uh, I refuse to look at it. Um, Absolutely, I, I don't look give. At it. I don't give clicks to black trauma anymore. Um, I I just don't. Real. I don't. That's real. Oh, I'm good. <clears throat> Men- mentally, like for me, mentally, I cannot visually watch that. Like it does. It doesn't matter if it's a black victim like it doesn't matter i can't look at that for my own mental I health st- because it misses me up i still got eric Garner in my brain like come on and man. you know how long again how long that was it's been that since was we ago. talked about eric Garner. that was a while ago that was a while ago um I can't do it yeah man um and it's like i don't hear the blue lives matter folks so you know being so loud these days not a not a peep not um, a peep right the the and the thing that that disheartens me right if they did this all the time, maybe we wouldn't be so mad. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we wouldn't have to protest. What do you mean? I mean, as far as the uh, the swift action against the police. Oh, officer. got you. you oh, know what I'm saying? oh, oh, absolutely. If it if it applied to the whites, the white cops, the Latin cops, and the other cops that do this shit, mm-hmm. it wouldn't be such an issue. And you and you would think that this would be the, be the standard, right? Yep. When when a police officer does something like this, you think the standard would be to immediate, immediately fire them, immediate, immediately convict them because all of the all of it is on camera. Yeah. Clearly you saw it because you put the you put the footage out, right? So why is it that that's not a standard across all police um police stations across the nation? Why is why is that not the standard? Yeah. The standard is police brutality across <laughs> like police can beat you and justify it. They can justify using that uh what is it, excessive force? Excessive force, yep. <sighs> Cra- it's just crazy great. that this time it happened to be all black cops. Like that's that's insane to me. And the things that are coming out more are disheartening about it may have been a personal issue, which doesn't excuse the behavior. Right. But still <clears throat> Right. You know what I'm saying? Like it was you know, it's like some some messy shit, you know, mess shit. And see that that just goes to show you, man. I, and I think this is something that's talked about all the time. Like people who become police officers get that badge. Like they super, pop, super power hungry, super, super people. Yep. Super yeah, like you, you're still a human. You still have to. Pre- the the thing that police officers officers are supposed to do is protect and serve, yep. not brutalize, which seems to be happening all the time. Mm-hmm. Especially on clearly on video, like that's that's nuts to me, man. Yeah, man. And another another layer to this conversation, I'll be even remiss to not even talk about it. But um, you know, three of these members, I mean, three of these guys were members of my fraternity. I, I had no idea. I did yeah. not know that. Mm-hmm. Three of them are members of Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated. Wow. Now, there has been a swift correlation between their brutality. Mm-hmm. And you know hazing incidents in the past. Okay. I don't think that's fair. Okay. And you know, obviously, I'm speaking as a member, so obviously, a little bit of my emotion is tied up into it. Um, but we do like the good work that Omega Sci-Fi does, and all Black, you know, Greek organizations, right? Mm-hmm. Can get like real. It's like it's like the people talking about HBCUs. Yeah. Like it's, it's kind of like that same thing. It can really get lost in the shuffle. Oh, of course. People will forget the good things that come out and the things that do happen because of this. But see that that's just I feel like that's just human nature. We always look for the negative the the more negative in the situation and stick to it. Yeah. So so because it it's been found out that three of those officers are part of Omega Sci Fi, right? Mm-hmm. Now that's all they're gonna harp on. Oh well, Omega, look, they look, haze look, and look, all and all this yeah. kind of stuff. Now so. that conversation is coming back up, and then even like the New York Post has wrote, has has put out an article 
showing that one of them was uh, the president at his undergraduate chapter. Oh, my goodness. And the the incidents. Like, this is the New York Post. That's crazy. So it's like, <laughs> like I'm like, wow, wow, yeah. wow. So, you know, even uh, the national bosses, I mean, the, the grand bosses had to put out a statement about, you know, this and mm-hmm. kind of distancing, you know, Omega from this. And it's kind of put brothers on guard. Um, it's just quite unfortunate, man, because I mean, there the it's, it's a whole bunch of bad albums that don't mean they ruined the bunch, right? Because I can look down a lot of serial killers and terrorists and things like that, like Timothy Midway, right? Mm-hmm. Bombed and uh, bombed the Oklahoma City building. Nobody said that the military was bad, and looked at all the bad things the military did. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but we. But it's easy to demonize something that's black. Oh, absolutely. That's that's the thing. That's absolutely. that's 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 where a lot of my emotion comes from. It could have been, you know, another Greek letter organization that happens to be black. I think I'll probably have a little bit of these same emotions. Oh, of course. I, and, and I could get that because of, well, I'm not I'm not Greek, but I imagine even though you are a part of Omega Psi Phi, it's still a family. It's still a brother sisterhood even in the D9 itself. Mm-hmm. So I I can imagine had they been a member of another fraternity organization that like, you yeah you would still like damn like that's still that's kind of my fucked. brother in greekdom like yeah, that type of stuff right messed up yeah and that's not that's not what omega teaches you omega don't teach you that shit so i, I can imagine <laughs> <laughs> I could nobody imagine. don't teach you that like, yeah hey, you. that's <laughs> crazy but yeah that 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 goes back to the individual yep, like yep yep you can you can you can cross you can cross a certain fraternity or sorority but you still the same person Mm-hmm. The letters don't change anything. You are still the person you were before and after. So, and they showed the body cam footage. You can see him having on the wristband, man. Oh no, that's crazy. <laughs> like I still have, crazy. I still haven't watched the video itself. I'm talking about the screenshot. Yeah, like, you know, when I was doing my due diligence, just kind of looking through news articles and stuff. But um, that's that's crazy. Rest in peace to Tyree. Um, Absolutely, peace man. to his family. Condolences to his family. Um, his friends, his loved ones, uh, the city of Memphis, as they they're going through s- some civil unrest. Mm-hmm. Or I don't think it's been like full out rioting or anything. I, like I that. don't think so either. But I haven't been, heard anything about it. It's been protests. Oh yeah, Definitely. absolutely. So um, all over a traffic stop, man. I don't know what the traffic stop was about. Reckless but driving. Whatever it was, it did. It, <laughs> reckless, this was, reckless driving. This should not have been the outcome. You don't know. I agree. Absolutely. I not. agree. I, I wholeheartedly agree. But um, I hope that justice is served. Uh, I'm not sure what it becomes of this because, you know, we're going to sit here and have this conversation again on this very couch. We are. <laughs> we are. And it, as unfortunate as it is, it's just, the, it's just the nature of what life is now, man. Yes. And that's and, and that's just wild. It's wild. So. Yeah, man. Another serious topic, but it's not as serious as this. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. Beyonce is under fire by her LGBTQ fans. Or maybe just people of the community who criticized her recent um, performance mm-hmm. over in uh, Dubai, the Emirates, or is that the Emirates? Name? Emirates. Okay, cool. <coughs> but yeah, uh, Beyonce was under fire because of their uh, actual uh, anti-LGBTQ uh, laws yep. and things like that in performance and taking their money. Johnny, what do you have for that? Um, I'm <sighs> look. Shout out to the LGBTQ community. I just, I, I don't know. I I guess I could understand why they're upset, and I never want to invalidate anybody's feelings. <laughs> That's where you leave it. I, I mean, <laughs> I, I kind of want to leave it there, but, we, you know, we, we have a podcast, right? So that that's, that's where I want to leave it, but $24 million. What what we doing? <laughs> like what we doing? Y'all y'all really upset at Beyonce for performing for twenty four million dollars one show probably an hour hour and a half ish I don't know. You know she did that on the surgically repaired foot too. I, so I kept hearing people talk about her ankle or something. So she went over there on a bad wheel man, and performed. Man, what? Look, I, listen again. I'm not in, invalidating y'all feelings. Y'all could be upset. That's fine, but. The performance happened. She got paid. She back at home chilling. And now y'all still mad. <laughs> That's all okay. I really got. Where do I go with this? 
No, you know, you know me. I'm, I'm keep, I'm keep it tall. I'm keeping a hundred with yeah. you, right? And this is excluding my, you know, my beehive them, right? Mm -hmm. Like, do I think she was wrong? No, because a lot of artists go over there and get a bag, Man, right? What? But twenty four million dollars is nothing to sneeze at. And then when we know Beyonce and Jay Z, you know, we kind of have to couple them together in this argument, right? They have only shown us who they always have been, right? True. They go always go get a bag. Oh, absolutely. And even if, if if it's at an expense of a cause that they quote unquote are behind. Okay. So <clears throat> when you know, when someone shows you who the, who they are, <laughs> trust them. Like believe believe them. them. <laughs> so Beyonce has always showed us that she's gonna go get the bag. Get so the going over there doesn't mean that she doesn't care about your cause here. Mm -hmm. That's a law. That's over there. Yeah. And let's think about it like this. Okay, so when Beyonce does her U.S. tour, right, there are states in the United States that have anti-LGBTQ laws. Yep. Most notably Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay. I ain't never seen Beyonce perform in Charlotte. Remember when all them artists was going, uh, having that beef with North Carolina? About, this, uh... This back with the Tiki Torches? Or just something else? No, 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 that was Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but <laughs> that was Charlottesville. I see how you tied okay, it yeah, together. Okay, yeah, yeah. I see how you tied it it's, it's cool, I got you. Yeah. But, no, uh, it was a beef with Charlotte because of the LGBTQ laws that were... Uh, it was anti. It was anti that. So, a lot of artists were, like, standing together, not saying we're not going to perform in this state because of this. Got you. But, oh, wait, I do remember. Okay, I remember. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Nobody says anything then. Mm -mm. But then again, I mean that's that's taking the stance over there. So it's like I don't I don't know, you live here. You live you live here. So why okay. are you concerned with what's going on over there? And and this kind of ties back to remember we had that buzz like your uh debate? Like not the buzz, it was like light year and a lot of the Disney properties getting banned over oh, there. Oh, because of yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Listen, those are those people's things. Exactly. And it's, they don't have to be progressive like us. And you know what? That that's how I be feeling. Like that's arrogant as fuck. And then a lot of the people that have been saying this have been white gays. <laughs> like I mean, I, look, I, listen, listen, y'all co opting the movement. <laughs> true, but th they don't think it's maybe Beyonce saying "gotcha" because I, I, I'm assuming she performed Renaissance, right? Yeah. When Renaissance is an album that pays homage to the LGBTQ community? Yeah. Like, is that not a high gotcha and still getting paid for it? And you know what's so funny? I've seen, it's a divide, right? It's probably more people pro-Beyonce still. Oh, absolutely. Oh, so, yeah, that, that's never, like that's they, never going to I mean, but, I mean, what will it take <laughs> to really, I think it's getting to that point, what would it take to not her off her high horse not she, the horse that she's on the album cover though you, looking you know at saying? looking <laughs> at <laughs> she right <laughs> she'd have to really like come out on live on instagram live or something and actually say the most egregious things out of her own mouth and I, even then i think people will still shoot her bail and you see why beyonce don't talk we'll find a beyonce interview listen that she didn't curate curate herself very hard Man, very hard listen, press listen listen she, look, Beyonce has only been doing what Beyonce always does. She'll get the bag. She, <laughs> she be in her own in her home in her own home doing whatever she's doing with her children with Jay Z chilling kicking it. When she feels like it, she comes out and performs. She'll drop some Ivy Park. I'm I'm assuming the Beyonce tour is coming at some point this year. Yeah. <laughs> like, and and as soon as she as soon as the link drops, as soon as the website drops, she going right back to the crib until it's time to perform. All of y'all are out here still mad and arguing with each other. She had the crib chilling. Twenty four million. Twenty four million up. <laughs> That's probably going into the world tour that she about to do. The production, all that shit. She probably just did that one hour, one one and a half hour performance, just to get her stage together for the world tour. I don't think she did anything wrong, but then again, I'm coming from somebody that's pro what what they do. I don't think she did anything wrong. Either wrong either she she went and performed her most recent album which is still widely popular but this is the thing this ain't her first time going over there 
Like that's the other thing. She always <laughs> over there. So why is it now? I think oh because uh, of the uh, only because the of the Renaissance. renaissance. I think that's okay, the okay, I think that's okay, the only okay. reason. But all right, calm down. But calm down. so shit. <laughs> 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 so like, I mean, you you still upset? Is she twenty four million up doing her thing? She can prepare for her world tour right now. Twenty four M's for hour and a half. For hour hour and a half of work. Listen. Listen, let me, let me tell you something. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> Look, I would have. Which one? shit? I go up there. Like, I, I would have danced for her. Shit, and her. She could stand on the pedestal and sing. <laughs> teach me the choreography. <laughs> I will. I will go do that shit. <laughs> Come on now. That is hilarious. That's crazy, bro. But now, nah, since we already talking about the Knowles Cole, I mean Carter <laughs> clan, right? Let's talk about this uh, quote from Fifty Cent. He was on a recent uh, interview, I believe, right? And Pretty much, we're, we're paraphrasing this. He said that Eminem had more of an impact in hip hop than Jay Z. Johnny, let's talk about it. Let's debate it, man. Let's do it, man. Curtis Fifty Cent Jackson came out and said that his boss. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Know, being, Put it into perspective. I'm putting right? it, put it in perspective. <laughs> <laughs> his boss, <laughs> one of his bosses, <laughs> came out and said that he got pretty much uh, more influence and impact in hip hop than somebody he silently had beef with since <laughs> three. <laughs> Talk about loyalty, huh? But, right, right. That's the, we gonna ride this out to the end, baby. <laughs> but, but I mean, no, but no. Serious conversation, though. I'm serious, serious. I'm, I'm serious. That's not. Nah, that's funny. As <laughs> but um, what, what you got, man? I don't, like, ever it's, since it's, I read this, I really, I've really tried to like sit and think about this. Like, mm-hmm. the first thing that comes to mind when it comes to Eminem and Jay Z <clears throat> is consistency. Yeah. Both of both of them have been consistent throughout the '90s, 2000s, 2010s. Maybe even now, if you want to, if you want to go that far, right? Mm-hmm. Who has been, who has had the better consistency? I definitely say Jay Z. Mm-hmm. Who had a bigger impact at a point in time? I, I'm kind of leaning toward Eminem. So, of course, Fifty Cent's uh, his comments were very vague, and he's just saying just as a whole. But yeah. I don't think it's that black and white when you really look at the conversation. <laughs> I see, well, I I see, see what you did there. Hey, hey, let's go. There, but oh, but, <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, I mean that's Fifty Cent's observation, and I mean to a point, some of it is true. Mm-hmm. Like I mean, this coming from the, this coming from the whole guy. Like I mean, of course the white boy had more <laughs> impact. I mean, look at the look at his sons, right? Yeah. Like that's that's what I'm gonna go to. Look at the children. Okay. Look at the children of Eminem. Like we. I, I have like, always I like said that. that Eminem has had a big wide net of people that he's influenced, right? Because right. the rhyming style, the rhyme pattern, the the content, even to an extent, right? So I can't be mad at that, you know, that observation. Like Eminem has sold more, I believe. Like I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can see. Yeah, that. yeah. So it's, I mean, and then he actually can rap. He's not just like somebody that came in and doesn't have the skill, the technicality, right? Mm-hmm. But if you go talking about content and the things that I would prefer to listen to, I'm gonna listen to Jay Z ten times. Yeah. Ten times out of ten. That's just me. Yeah. But that doesn't mean I negate what Eminem was, is and you know, he's a legend to us. He's a legend in this game. True. So I get why fifty would say this, but why did he have to say Jay Z though? Like that's <laughs> the other thing though. I was like, God damn. I guess what what was the what was the context of the quote? Like was was he at an interview or like, like where where was he where was he this made this unprovoked? These like, that's what I'm like, saying. This shit is unprovoked. I c I don't but, know. But it was a talking point on social media and then I know we get into these debates. I mean Eminem Wiley has a lot of the, the notoriety that he has because not only because of skill, it's because he's white. We know this. Yeah. We know this. We've had this conversation. He's hip hop Elvis. I think he's even acknowledged it too. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's and hip hop's Elvis doesn't necessarily mean he stole from black artists. Right, exactly. It's it, just the 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 conversation of a white person being in the house of hip hop. That's where the Elvis comparison comes to. And we gotta think about Eminem would not have it, would not have even been accepted in hip hop if he wasn't good at rapping. So I, I'll say this. I feel like it's been a whole bunch of white boys that can rap. I ain't saying they rap like Eminem. Mm-hmm. The Dre stuff mattered. That mattered. True. I think the the days of the cosign, that mattered. Absolutely. Like, oh, 
Dre got this white boy that can rap. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. That's going crazy. That's going crazy. Now, if if Eminem, <laughs> if Eminem was Yellow Wolf <laughs> and, and, and Dr. Dre found him, still would have ended up like Yellow Wolf, just kind of faded, just fading into the black. Like, it just, that would have happened. So the fact that Eminem was good enough to get with Dr. Dre yep. to make the type of music that he made with Dr. Dre, all while still showing how lyrically great he can rhyme mm-hmm. and still displaying that consistently throughout the decades. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. I just think that the, the argument is stronger for Eminem when you talk about the people that he's influenced, right? Yeah. Because I don't hear... When I can listen to somebody and I don't think they're a Jay-Z clone or Jay-Z baby. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They might have business moves like Jay or, you know, they might, you know, I don't know. I, I never listened to an album like, oh, man, he sounds like hoes. Right. But I can listen to some shit and be like, oh, Eminem. Definitely was your influence. Definitely. Yeah. So that's that's where I would edge Eminem. But everything else, you know, hoes. Yeah, <laughs> everything else. <is> <laughs> everything else. <Yeah. laughs> no, nah, I mean... Look, but I mean, like the thing is, I'm not going to sit here and lie and say like it's not a conversation. Oh right, no, right, no, right, it's right, a conversation. Right. And I, and I think a lot of people have have revisionist history, right? Oh man, let's talk about it. So yeah, damn. Of, of course, of course, people will look at the most recent three, four, five years mm-hmm. and say Jay Z, you know, has has the bigger in- influence. But no, you can't just look at what's recent you have to look at the entire span of things Mm -hmm. yes has jay-z well no eminem has put out more albums than jay-z has in the in the last five or so years oh yeah yeah. but the quality of those eminem eminem albums haven't been up to par yeah if we're judging eminem based off of himself in the past right yeah jay-z can put out a verse here and there which he has done over the last five years and all them shits have been great Mm mm-hmm but we can't only look at that. We have to look at the entire thing. Oh, yeah. When I'm saying these things, I'm thinking about the, the totality of oh, their careers. Absolutely. Because, you know, Jay-Z came out in 96. Eminem came out in 99. Mm-hmm. Um, both have been, you know, staples in this culture. And then the only time they collab is, you know, on Renegade. And then when Nas said Eminem got him about the paint, <laughs> everybody just kind of ran with it. That's crazy. But, you know, I think it, <laughs> Eminem, Eminem did it. Did, did his numbers. He put up a triple dub on Rem- Renegade. I'm not gonna lie. It, he did, which is even which is even crazier to me. So after I learned that Renegade was a was originally Eminem and Royce, mm-hmm. and then he took Royce's verses off and gave the gave the song to, to Jay Z. Mm-hmm. So Jay Z heard M's vo- uh, verses before. It, it had it had to try to catch up. That, that's, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So yeah, man, I. <laughs> Shout out to Fifty. Um, I so do do we agree? Do we agree? Fifty a little uh, bit. Okay. I mean, I, I, I think I think I do. Just at, if we're if we're looking at a particular point in time in hip hop, yes, Eminem had a a bigger impact than Jay Z did. But if oh, yeah. we're looking at if we're looking at the span of their careers, I think consistency wise, I would say Jay. I would say it's Jay Z. Oh yeah, and the fact that Eminem is this battle this battle rapper that likes to uh, pick on Limp Bizkit and uh, NSYNC and Bashy Boys, that helped expand his reach too. I mean, it's true. You gotta talk about it. Hey, listen, that's. <laughs> Cause that's a real conversation for another day. Like, no, he crossed the aisle talking about them niggas, and it's like Christina Aguilera. Like, what? Like, we beefing? Like, we we beefing with them? Like, he beef? He beef? He made a he made a diss record to Mariah Carey, nigga. What? Yo. Well, Mariah Carey. I'm not saying he didn't get busy with the time to rap against the rappers, but, but hey. Mariah Carey. That's nasty work. Hey man, disgusting. Work great. Right? <laughs> but speaking of nasty work, right? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta talk about this Billboard and Vibe collaboration on the top 50 rappers list that they're coming out with. Lord now, mercy. you know Eminem and Jay Z are obviously going to be at the top of this <laughs> list, but it's the top 50 rappers of all time, and they're releasing this weekly. So mm-hmm. this may be the only time we really talk about it because this honestly probably gonna piss us off right now. <laughs> 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 it's like it, it's nasty, right? But Johnny, have you got a chance to review the list? I so I definitely skimmed through this mug. Um, 
a lot a lot of these is like all right i could see i could see quite possibly why why you put these in the top 50 right now the ordering on that part okay the ordering kind of nasty oh big, the, big. Or, the ordering is nasty Listen, you tell me and you know bias i'm biased with this one okay you tell <laughs> me it's, it's 49 rappers better than rick rose if we talk about the totality of rapping the totality of music making yeah Yes. You telling me milk? Nah, fuck no. Nah. You tell <laughs> you tell me you tell me Melly you all right Johnny, I know that you chose me down. Cause you tell me you'll cut on Melly Mel. That, that's what I'll be talking about. That's it. See, like see why I do why, why do I deal with <laughs> this? <laughs> because it's fun. No, man. <laughs> no. <laughs> I would one hundred percent turn on the message before I turn on Okay. And that's the only one, right? That's all you got, right? Yes, yes. Then that's it. All right. I'm just, I'm just making sure. <laughs> a child is born with no state. Uh, yeah, 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 man. Exactly. <laughs> Not a, okay, I'm going to keep it a book. The one person that's on this list that I feel like should not be on this list, at least the top, fi- I'm going to say top 50. Mm-hmm. Top 50. And you might disagree. Mm-hmm. At number 38 is Gucci Mane. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not. This is not me saying Gucci Mane is trash because I respect the mixtape era Gucci, even the mainstream uh, era Gucci. I appreciate Gucci, but in the top 50 of all time greatest uh, hip hop, uh, 50 top greatest rappers, I'm not putting Gucci Mane in the top 50. Okay. So that's me. That's fair. Now with that, the rest of these that we have, it's like 50 through what, 20? I think, it's 30, 30, I think it's 31, right? I think it's not the 31. Oh, no. This go this go all the way up to 21. Oh, DMX okay. is at 21. So DMX 21, Ghostface 22, Curtis Blow is 23, KRS 1 is 24, Method Man 25. <laughs> So it's, like, it's, it's the order. It's the ordering. It's, it's like the criteria. What's the criteria? Would you say Method Man is a better rapper than Ludacris? Because Lud- <coughs> Ludacris is at 30, 38. No, 39. I'm sorry. Method Man. Is Method Man a greater rapper than Ludacris? It depends on the criteria. I was about to say, you know, Jadakiss is in the 40s. I, I know. I saw. I saw. Like, that's like 46. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Jadakiss like 46. No. That's crazy, man. Like, <laughs> what, the, what is going on? What are we doing? Man? What? Okay, Dr. Dre is on here. Like, okay, Res- respect to Dre, clearly, right? But come on, top let, 50 let, rapper let, list? Let me ask you this. E40 is on the list. Do you expect E40 being on this list? Um, As a top 50 rapper. <sighs> top 50, maybe, maybe because of his impact on the West Coast, West Coast sound of music. Top 50, yes. Yeah. And I, but I'm putting him between uh, 40 and 50. Like, he, he's on the lower end of that. For no, sure. I, I, yeah. I mean, I think that him being in the – like, it's like, what is the criteria? That's all I <laughs> ask, right? Because you're talking about influence and longevity, like he's up there. Like he, he might be 25 if we're going off that. No, that's that's facts. Like we going if we're going off of that, but it depends on what the criteria is. But shout out to shout out to the Davies, man. <laughs> future, future, man. Future. Not nah, see that future 35. That's the man. shit I'm talking about. Like so, Fu- future better than Jada Kiss. <laughs> like come on, like <laughs> <laughs> I just I don't. Ah, shout out to future. I'm saying I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chuck D. Now Chuck D. Thirty four. That's kind of like I can see it, but I feel like he should be higher though. Yeah, they Ooh. got they got Black Thought at twenty eight. Bust around thirty three. I know they grind your gear. I'm not putting Q. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm sorry, I'm not putting Q tip before Buster Rhymes. Q tip is twenty seven. Ti thirty two. Like like I fuck, I fuck with him. I fuck with him. And it, 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 Ahead of ahead of uh, I, ain't say, I ain't say that. I just said I fuck with him on the list. We ain't got a name. We ain't got to go to numbers. <laughs> so okay, look. I was just saying I fuck with him on the list. So ba- based off of this list, right? Who do you think is in the top like three? Well, I mean, it's got to be like <coughs> your traditional five rotating rappers, right? It's got to be like the J, the Nas, the the Biggie, Eminem. the Pac, the Eminem. It's either one of them. Like, it's, I mean, and not lay with Jay first, but Jay could be five. Like, a, it, it really could be five. And and I, I agree. I agree with that. I'm going to say this. What a list is already kind of trash. But if Rod Kim is not in the top ten, then I'm going to have an issue. I'm going to have, have a real issue. I mean, I already got an issue, but I'm going to have a bigger issue with this shit. Like, this, this is insane. 
We got we got we got to keep following this, bro, because this shit crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Curtis Blow at 23. I'm sorry. This is nasty. <laughs> this is disgusting. I know, I know who Curtis Blow Basketball? is. Basketball? Man. man, okay. Like, this is the, this the problem I have, man. I respect my generation to rap more. And I know <laughs> always respect their 80s and early 90s. And I know the kids respect their shit. I'm like, man, but listen, you telling me Melly Mel <laughs> better than Rick Ross? No, I'm not, I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it at all. No, I'm not saying it. You said no, it. I know you fuck with me. But that shit, funny. But what? That shit, that shit is funny, though. That is that. <laughs> Yo, having Curtis blow before Jada Kiss is insane. I'm sorry. Like that's that's just that's just crazy. Have it have wait. What number did you say Curtis Blow was? Hold on, Curtis Blow is. Uh, hold on, I just seen it. <laughs> have it. I feel like he really close to DMX because DMX is at twenty one. So that, I think so too. That, like that's crazy. That no, thank you. Curtis Blow is twenty three. Nah, two two spots from DMX. Yeah. No, thank you. It's like he's right behind Ghostface. It's like when certain rappers like names come up, I'm not finna argue with you. Like Ghostface, I I respect that. I ain't, Absolutely. Uh, Black Thought, I'm not arguing. Like, you know, he, he deserves to be somewhere. KRS One, I ain't listening to no KRS One. <laughs> I ain't listening to one track. I ain't gonna lie to you. But I know, I know, and I respect. <laughs> like, what, what was I lie for? Like, I, was, I, was, uh, I was listening to Boogie Brown Productions. Fuck no. I ain't listening to that self, shit. You ain't listening to Self Destruction? No, I ain't listening to Self Destruction. Right. You're headed for Self Destruction. Yeah, I know. I, I know. Shout out to KRS. I know, man. <laughs> that's just not my generation. Like that's, and I'm gonna keep it a stack. Like we, <laughs> we be trying to impress these old heads. Fuck y'all. I don't care about this. I don't care about that. Man. Hey yo. <laughs> we be trying to impress them, man. Oh yeah, I listen to that. Man, I don't listen to that bullshit. That's man. funny. <laughs> like, I, you know what? I gotta disrespect they, they legends the way the kids disrespect. I, our I was just <laughs> about to say that. <laughs> I'm like, man, fuck just y'all. about to say that. You know how. Uh, Lonzo Ball said, "Don't listen to that man. Don't listen to that bullshit." Like he, he said that with his chest. <laughs> That's fucked. <up. laughs> That's so wild. I just flew off. The That's head so me. wild, bro. Like, I, look. So I want to keep following this because I, I have I have to see who's number one through twenty. I have to because this, this is insane. This is look him at thirty one. They got Ti right by, right behind Look him. Mm 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 mm. No. No, nah, say it. What you look? Oh, I cause you want to say? Cause you want to say something? I look, I done said too much. I ain't got nothing. How they got Ti right in front of Busta Rhymes? No, that no, no, no. It depends no, on what they ask. Nah, nah, I don't read it. I don't read it. It depends. No, on what they, it depends. Dude. No, Johnny, you done seen way more okay. creature stuff on here. Nah, you right, but so. You see, Jada they got, they got. And you think and Jada Kiss is behind both of them niggas, <laughs> <laughs> so it don't matter. It don't matter. Jada Kiss, Jada Kiss is forty seven. <laughs> yeah, like this is fucking nuts. It's so it don't matter. This is nuts. <laughs> they got future in front of Common. <laughs> they got, future. they got Common right in front of Gucci. Like, they got Ludacris one, one slot behind Gucci. What the fuck. Wise man, Le- left eye go be in the top ten. Shout out to left eye, but I'm just saying. Okay, real quick, what other women rappers you think? Oh, Nicki. they gonna fuck around, put Nicki Minaj number one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, besides Nicki, because of course, right? Who who else you think? Because uh, Queen Latifah, Lil Kim already on the list. MC Light already on the list. Too. MC MC Light already on the list. Um. Let me think. If you already got Lil' Kim out the way, mm-hmm. you already got Lauren Hill out the way. You got Queen oh, Latifah out the way. Yep. Who else is there besides Nikki? With all due respect, is the brat gonna be top twenty? Eve, maybe. Listen, they that's got good. They got Gucci at thirty eight. So. That's a tough. That's a tough one, right? Because I really like Eve. Same. I, I really love. Same. Eve. I really do. She should have been named already, though. Eve, uh, put up. Put her in Gucci place. I, I mean, then, listen, then, then usually, then cool. usually I fight you tooth and nail or something like that, but I, I really, I'm like, it's okay. It's all right. You know what I'm saying? If we talking 75, <laughs> we, we might throw Gucci at 75. <laughs> we on, might throw man. him at 75. Come on. And then he's going to be 75. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's going to be fighting for that last Real fight. Shit. It's going to be like, he going to barely be there, too. So, you Based know, if, if you If you got something to do with it, he's like. We can find somebody yeah. to be 75. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. 
Shit, <laughs> fuck is we talking about? Fuck around putting Marky Mark on this what? bitch. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Hey, yo. Hey, that's, that's, what did Roderick do to you? Nothing. What did he do nothing, to you? Nothing, but that shit funny. <coughs> <coughs> look, man. Man, look. Nah, the, the staple of this shit is that Gucci man is at 38. <laughs> I don't listen, the rest of this shit is crazy. This is crazy. For that alone, we gotta see who one through twenty is. So I we I'm for sure gonna keep an eye on this. We might come back next week and talk about this shit <laughs> for real. I don't even know where else to go after that, man. Because it's we we Me gotta, either. I don't know. Like, I mean, shout out to Angela Bassett. <laughs> that's that's the segue. Right. Shout out to Angela Bassett, man. She got nominated for Best Supporting Actress as Queen Ramonda oh, and man. Wakanda Forever at the 2023 Oscars. Word. She's the first, the first individual actor or actress to be nominated for an MCU movie, a Marvel film. So, shout out to her. Um, there's a. There's another young lady. Uh, let me grab her name because she's nominated Best Supporting Actress from for the movie Ev- Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. Yeah. Which she also did a phenomenal job in her uh in her performance as well. That that was a great movie that came out last year. Let me let yeah. find her name real quick. But no, we definitely just wanted to acknowledge uh Queen Angela Bassett. Like she's always been a star to us, Hollywood A-lister, you know, just just everything, you know what I'm saying? Like, a, a phenomenal actress, Word. and it seems like it's long overdue. Not to say she didn't act her ass off mm-hmm. in Wakanda Forever. Honestly, it's one of the highlights of the film. Yep. Like, her acting. I think I can, re- I can agree with that. I mean, <laughs> acting wise, she the MVP. <laughs> other film facts. No, that's facts. You remember me? I was, I was, I was worried about the acting. No, I know. Angela, Angela Bassett came oh, through. Running out of never mind. Um, hey, listen. St- hey, don't get me started. <laughs> no, 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 let's not do this. I mean, we go. We all, we gonna have to get to it when Ant Man come out. Anyway. <laughs> nah, yeah, so we gonna true. we gonna get to it. Um, Stephanie Zhu, I think it's how you pronounce her last name. H S U. I, I, you know what? I just Uh-oh. realized what you were talking about. What I, what running I out of niggas. Yeah. <laughs> that's what <I'm> <laughs> Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, we're gonna get into it again. But no, St- Stephanie Zhu, I think that's how you pronounce her last name. Uh nominated for supporting actress at the Oscars for everything, everywhere, all at once. So shout out to her too. She did a phenomenal job in that movie. Um I haven't seen none of these other movies, so yeah. We there's, never do. There's that. We, we, we <laughs> never we never that. we never see any of these films. It's, the films the films that we love and laud and talk about, man, they don't be nowhere near the best picture. Not even close. Like the set design. <laughs> <laughs> costume. <laughs> costume, yeah. Best best score. Like, like, what the fuck? Like I don't care about I mean the horns do sound, sound like their violin their violin do go, but still I don't care about <laughs> that shit, man. Like <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. That's funny to say. But hey, man, since we already on talk about the blur stuff, blur talk, blur segment, Shazam, Fury of the Gods trailer recently came out. I thought they would have waited to the Super Bowl, but they jumped the gun. Yeah, they did. They did. They did. So, Johnny. Yes, sir. What do you have for this? Um, I thought the trailer was cool. Dope trailer. Yeah. Um, Doesn't make me any more or less excited for the film. Uh, The first Shazam I thought was phenomenal. Like, it. I was shocked at how really good it was. I didn't expect much from it. Um, really don't expect much from the sequel. I definitely forgot Megan Good was in this. So shout out to her. <laughs> shout out to her in her newfound singleness. Uh, <laughs> 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 but the the interesting the interesting thing about Shazam, right? The uh-huh. Fury of the Gods. Yeah. They well clearly we're never getting a Shazam Black Adam fight because the whole thing with the rock and they them canceling a bunch of the shit but black adam is a shazam villain but anyway that's a whole nother thing but the interesting thing about this movie they actually created the villains specifically for this movie so the villains in this movie do not come from the comics oh this so is a brand new villain no source material no source material Ooh, for these villains. spicy yeah so with that that there, there's that so that's a that's an interesting plot point when it comes to this movie so i'm very interested to see how they do that because up until this point Every Marvel DC movie that we've seen comes from some source of source material, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is this is kind of new territory, even though this is probably probably the last time we'll see Shazam. I don't know. So I, you know, it's only, it's only. I mean, we'll just see. We'll just see how how it turns out. 
Yeah. Now I'm I'm with you on uh, the first Shazam film. Surprisingly, it was a a, a pretty good film, mm-hmm. pretty solid film. Um, I always thought it was goofy. It was kind of like it was. I think it was around the time Ant Man and Watts came out, right? I think so. Yeah. I think that's why I was just like, hey man, like that this silly shit ain't working <laughs> for me. And I guess you know we were so invested in the serious tone of right. the Infinity Saga and just connectivity and all that all stuff. That, yeah. <laughs> so, but no, uh, Shazam has no connectivity to nothing. So I guess that's what gives it its great, you know, its great feel, right? I guess so. Because, I mean, that was that was the great thing about at least the first two Ant-Man films, right? Yeah. It's like, yeah, we know they're in the MCU, but they don't really tie that deeply into what the overarching story of the MCU, right? Honestly, that's kind of probably what saved it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could see in, that. In a sense. But, I could you see know, that. Probably too far on to that yeah. right now. We'll, <laughs> we'll say that when we get to our Ant-Man talk. But Shazam, right. I mean, movie trailer, I mean, like, you, you're you right. It doesn't necessarily make me more excited. It's just kind of like if you're into this content, you're going to go see this. I don't think Facts. Shazam is going to bring any new people to the theater in that so, way. Um, it doesn't necessarily have, like, star power that you need. I like, uh, what's my girl name? Uh, uh, Charlie's Angel. Uh, oh, Lucy Lou. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout yeah. out to Lucy Lou, man. I saw, all right, I saw her in the uh, in the trial. I was like, oh shit, that's uh, Leonardo, yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio, man. Oh yeah, shit, yeah, she, yeah, she's still bad. Man, look, man, what? She's like fifty one, I think. Listen, she's still my Charlie Angel. Man, what? <laughs> you told me. Let me show you. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, with that, I was, like, I was gonna say I, I I was gonna say something about ramen, but it didn't come out right. So it's okay. Don't. It, yeah. It's too late. Yep. It's already out there. Nice try. Damn it. Uh-huh. No, you got to go ahead and say it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to tap dance out of this one. That was wild. That was, Listen, that was an AU. I definitely want to shout out Lucy Lou. <laughs> uh, shout out Megan Good. I don't know any of the other actors or actresses' names, but I do, do you, know that they did a good job in the do first Do you know one. who even plays Shazam? You know his I don't name? know his name. No. Damn. No. I think it's Zachary Levy. Oh, that's what's up. Zachary Levy. No, that's, that's right. Cra- that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Why do I need to know that? Yeah, I know, for real. <laughs> <laughs> so why do I? Oh my God. He, listen, he did a great job in the first one, so I'm going to see the second one. Like, I think that's his name. I could have been. I, I you, like, it, it, <laughs> that could be a completely different person. Probably, probably. I wouldn't know. <laughs> I wouldn't have known. <laughs> shout, out, shout out to my guy, man. <laughs> right, but I mean, Shazam Fury of the Gods looks like a good film. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it looks like it's going to be a fun film. It's free of uh, of DC bullshit and the rock. <laughs> Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's free from all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we just. This might be the only DC film we get this year. I'm totally down. But I'm about like, to say, wait. <laughs> what about Flash? No. I mean, Flash is scheduled to come out June 16th. But also, Blue Beetle comes out this year, too. I want to okay. say in August or September. Okay. I, I don't know the exact date, but we'll get more into that when the yeah, time when, comes. Yeah, when, it, when it's time, too. Yeah. But, I mean, looks good. We'll we'll talk about it when it comes out. I'll actually go see it. Like, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, do it like I did Black Adam. I, 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 waited. <laughs> I waited till we was on break to watch Black Adam. I was like, oh, this, oh, is, HBO. this is pretty cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? No, it's, it's, a, it's a good popcorn film. Yeah, like, but no, nah, Shazam, I'm actually, like, kind of into the story because yeah. I like the first film. Exactly. No, I feel that. That's what's up. <laughs> hey, real quick. Yeah. So, I, so Lil Yachty. Okay. He put he put out a he put out a, a project on Friday. Oh okay. damn, I don't remember the name of it. But I saw people saying how good it was, and I was like, you know what? It's twenty twenty three. Let me try to push play on some shit that I don't really listen to. Right now, granted, it's eight a.m. I wasn't sure what to expect from Lil Yachty, mm-hmm. but what I heard, I, I listened to like the first three tracks. Then I had to turn it off because I actually had to work. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the first three tracks, it sounds like alternative rock-ish music, but it actually sounded really good. That doesn't surprise me. You know why? Because he's in that space of the festival guy, festival guy. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, Lil, Lil <clears throat> Uzi got a monster hit out right now. That don't sound nothing like rap. Really? It sounds techno. It's like some, uh, I just want to rock. Is that the shit he dancing to? Yeah. Oh, okay, I got you. I that got you. that I got ain't you. rap. It's not. That, that ain't rap. <coughs> it's not rap. But the Biden kids, means. when I say the kids. Oh, they be going crazy. Oh, they be going crazy. That's it's like Baby Shark for teenagers. Damn. Baby, <laughs> baby Shark Smash. I know, Baby Shark Smash. Is, man, they got hella remixes. But they, but, but, anyway. but they going crazy, though. But the, the thing is, I can see why he starts experimenting because like, when you're in them festival crowds and there's a lot of you know alternative uh, people, yeah, out in those you know those festivals. A lot of young people, a lot of people that like to experiment with drugs, you know, all that kind of. So stuff. you know they outside with it, yeah. So hey, do your thing, King. I ain't knocking because we ain't never want to hear you rap. True, we we care about you getting your money, but we don't really care about your music, right? 
and that that's how I am with like a lot of the kids that I don't really listen to. It's cool, like mm-hmm. it's cool that your music came for me. Get your money though, right? I ain't gonna hate on you. Exactly. Get uh, your the, money. the name of that album is called Let's Start Here. So mm-hmm. I listened to those first three tracks, and surprisingly, surprisingly, they sounded really, really good. So I'm gonna try to uh, listen to the rest of it this week. Um, because mm-hmm. I'm. I mean, I'm kind of anticipating good a good album here. So, hey, shout out to him, man. Real quick, since, since you brought up new yeah. music, I gotta I gotta tell you about this. At least this one project. Okay. Um, Coco Jones. Okay. Uh, you know Hillary from yeah, LA. yeah, yeah. She the album. She got one. I mean, she, hey, got she got one. She got one. Like, I, I had to know. when I I was listening to, it, I had to kind of run a few of them back. I'm like, Wait a minute. <laughs> nah, but now nah, she's dope, and um, I don't know if you uh know about the uh, Tanks podcast, R and B Money. Yes, I do. That's a very good podcast too. Okay, uh, it's yeah. That what one. what I didn't tell you? Mm-hmm. I'm adding it right now. The deluxe version. Hey, trust me. All right, no, I got I got that. All right, so, so since we're here, talking uh, talk that shit, in, man. In an attempt to listen to who I don't really listen to, mm-hmm. I turned on Ice Spice's EP. Ooh. <laughs> why, the, why the hell did I do that? Huh. Listen, because you saw them butt cheeks on their uh, album cover. Nope, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. Because <laughs> that album cover was like, kind of spicy, ain't it? Uh, I don't know. That, that, that's how you know I don't even care. Because I don't know. I ain't even looking I at saw it. it. I, saw, I saw cheeks. I think she put cheeks on there. <laughs> she put cheeks on there. Hold up. That shit is. I could be wrong. Oh yeah, I deleted already. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. It's not Look, here. It's not. It here. was only thirteen. It was a thirteen minute EP. I was like, I could listen to this. I'm about to go run some errands. Let me just throw this on. Look, no disrespect to her. She getting her money. She had a fire single. Cheeks. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, t- I, t- I, t- so, I was like, yeah. Look, I'm not listening. To that. Look, she had a a fire single. Apparently, people rent flocked to it. She torn off of it. Cool. If if Ice Spice plans to have longevity in her rap career, she needs to learn how to rap. She can't sound the same on every song, and that's exactly what she did. Even even with the production on the on the EP was actually kind of dope. Different sounds playing around with different sounds, it was great. But she sounds literally the same on every song. Same flow. Same vocal tone, same cadence, same everything. So if she's going to continue, somebody got to help her switch that up. Ice Spice is an interesting character because, like, if you took if you cut her uh, her curly fro off, I wouldn't know what she was. <laughs> it's kind of like James Harden with his beard. Like, it's part of his personality. Like, I mean, it's part of his brand. Like, <laughs> she can't get rid of that. Like, she Damn, put on a, she, she ca- straight she had on like a straight wig one time. I'm like, who is this? She carried up. Exactly. That's crazy. That's that's exactly that's what's crazy. Going on. So. Listen, man. Shout out to Ice Spice. Cause cl- clearly, she's still out here. Clearly, 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 we have reached the oh, end big facts. <laughs> of our docket. <laughs> Johnny, what do you have for me? Listen, if you're on YouTube, we appreciate you for rocking with us this long. Yes, sir. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. The notification bell. <laughs> hit the comment section. Let us uh, holler at us about any of the topics we discussed today. We was wilding. Yeah, we was wilding. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll catch y'all next week. Yes, sir. Now, if you're on audio. You know what time it is, baby? Song of the week. OS song of the week. I got you, bro. Oh, you got it? Yeah, man. All right, go for it. Well, <sighs> let me see here. You know, yesterday was one of the. You are now listening to Oversaturated, the podcast hosted by Johnny and Ralph. Now let's get it. <laughs>